Have you ever wondered how a nation can exert its influence on another without military force? In the Asia-Pacific, China's growing presence is felt in various forms, far from the battlefield. The Philippines, with its complex history, is a prime example. While the world watches the South China Sea, a different kind of influence is taking root. It's about the subtle ways China integrates into Filipino society. From education to economic partnerships, Chinese influence is visible. Is this a cause for concern or a natural consequence of globalization? When we think of powerful nations exerting influence, our minds often jump to military strength. But in the 21st century, the tools of influence have evolved. Soft power, a term coined by Joseph Nye, refers to shaping preferences through appeal and attraction. This includes cultural diplomacy, educational exchanges, and economic partnerships. China has become adept at wielding soft power to achieve strategic objectives. In the Philippines, this approach is evident in various sectors. From scholarships to infrastructure projects, China is actively building goodwill. This contrasts with the US, which relies on military presence and aid. While the US remains a key ally, China's economic clout gives it an advantage. Education has long been recognized as a powerful tool for shaping minds and influencing future generations. China understands this well, and it has made significant inroads into the Philippine education system in recent years. One of the most visible aspects of this is the establishment of Confucius Institutes at several universities across the Philippines. These institutes, funded by the Chinese government, offer courses in Chinese language and culture, promoting a deeper understanding of China among Filipino students. While proponents argue that these institutes foster cultural exchange and understanding, critics raise concerns about academic freedom and potential Chinese government influence over curriculum content. Beyond Confucius Institutes, China also offers a significant number of scholarships to Filipino students to study in China. This provides opportunities for educational advancement but also exposes Filipino students to Chinese perspectives and potentially fosters closer ties with China in the long run. The question remains, is this a benign form of cultural exchange or a strategic move to cultivate a generation of Filipinos more favorably disposed towards China? In today's interconnected world, the media plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion and influencing perceptions. China has recognized the power of media and has been actively expanding its presence in the Philippine media landscape. This takes various forms, from investing in Filipino media outlets to promoting Chinese narratives through state-run media channels. One concerning trend is the increasing ownership of Filipino media companies by Chinese entities. This raises concerns about potential bias in news coverage and the promotion of pro-China narratives. Furthermore, China's state-run media outlets, such as Xinhua and CGTN, have been expanding their reach in the Philippines. These outlets often present a highly curated view of China, highlighting its economic achievements while downplaying sensitive issues like human rights or territorial disputes in the South China Sea. The increasing presence of Chinese media in the Philippines raises important questions about media independence and the potential for foreign influence over public discourse. Section 5 Local Ties, Investments and Partnerships China's influence in the Philippines extends beyond the national level, reaching deep into local communities through investments and partnerships with local government units, or LGUs. Recognizing the importance of building relationships at the grassroots level, China has been actively engaging with LGUs, offering investments in infrastructure projects, providing development aid, and fostering sister city partnerships. These initiatives are often welcomed by LGUs, many of which face significant funding challenges and are eager to attract foreign investment. However, these partnerships also raise concerns about transparency and accountability. There have been instances where Chinese investments have been shrouded in secrecy with limited public consultation or oversight. Additionally, the influx of Chinese money into local politics has raised concerns about potential influence peddling and corruption. While these partnerships can bring much-needed development to local communities, it's crucial to ensure that they are conducted transparently and in a way that benefits the Filipino people. Section 6. The Power of Cultural Exchange 
Culture has always been a powerful tool for building bridges between nations. China has been actively promoting cultural exchange programs with the Philippines, showcasing its rich history, art and traditions to the Filipino people. These initiatives range from sponsoring cultural performances and art exhibitions to facilitating language exchange programs and sending Chinese cultural delegations to the Philippines. On the surface, these efforts appear to be harmless attempts to foster goodwill and understanding between the two cultures. However, some critics argue that these cultural exchanges are part of a broader soft power strategy to promote a positive image of China and downplay potential areas of contention. By emphasizing shared cultural values and historical connections, China aims to create a sense of affinity and trust with the Filipino people. While cultural exchange can undoubtedly be a positive force, it's important to be aware of the potential for such initiatives to be used as a tool for political influence. Section 7, Economic Dependency, a Double-Edged Sword. China's economic rise has had a profound impact on the global economy and the Philippines has not been immune to its effects. China is now the Philippines' largest trading partner and Chinese investments in the country have surged in recent years. This economic engagement has brought both opportunities and challenges for the Philippines. On the one hand, Chinese investments have fueled economic growth, created jobs and provided much needed infrastructure. The influx of Chinese tourists has also boosted the tourism industry, a vital sector of the Philippine economy. However, this growing economic dependence on China has raised concerns about potential vulnerabilities. Critics argue that the Philippines risks becoming overly reliant on China, making it susceptible to economic coercion or pressure on political issues. The experience of other countries that have received significant Chinese investments, such as Sri Lanka and Djibouti, highlights the risks of falling into a debt trap where countries become beholden to China due to unsustainable loan repayments. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Sovereignty versus cooperation. The Philippines faces a delicate balancing act with China. It seeks to maintain its sovereignty while recognizing the importance of economic cooperation. This dynamic has led to pragmatism in its foreign policy. Engaging with China on economic issues while standing firm on national security. However, this balancing act is increasingly difficult. China's power gives it significant leverage over the Philippines. The challenge is to safeguard interests while avoiding confrontation. Section 9. The Filipino Perspective. Voices from Within. It's essential to consider the perspectives of ordinary Filipinos when discussing China's influence in the country. Public opinion on China is complex and multifaceted, shaped by historical experiences, cultural ties and perceptions of China's role in the region. Some Filipinos welcome Chinese investments and see China as a valuable economic partner. They point to the tangible benefits of Chinese-funded infrastructure projects and the potential for increased trade and tourism. Others express concerns about China's growing influence, particularly its assertiveness in the South China Sea. They worry about the potential for economic dependence and the erosion of Philippine sovereignty. There is also a generational divide in perceptions of China, with younger Filipinos generally holding more favorable views of China compared to older generations who have vivid memories of past conflicts and territorial disputes. Understanding these diverse perspectives is crucial for policymakers both in the Philippines and internationally as they navigate the complexities of China's growing influence in the region. Section 10. A complex relationship looking ahead. The relationship between China and the Philippines is complex and constantly evolving. It's a relationship characterized by both cooperation and competition, by shared interests and potential points of friction. As China continues its rise as a global power, its influence in the Philippines is likely to grow. The challenge for the Philippines is to manage this relationship in a way that advances its national interests while preserving its sovereignty and independence. This will require a delicate balancing act, one that involves leveraging alliances, strengthening its own capabilities and engaging with China from a position of strength and clarity. The future of the relationship will depend on a multitude of factors, including China's own domestic political trajectory 
the regional security environment, and the policies of key external actors like the United States. One thing is certain, the relationship between China and the Philippines will continue to be a defining feature of the geopolitical landscape in Southeast Asia for many years to come. Subscribe for more amazing content and keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.